So back in December 2004, 21 years ago, in Pima County, Arizona, there were three scientists sitting in an observatory, Kitty Peak. What is that streak right there? It's moving across the frames. We have an object, get the coordinates locked. And they were looking at their monitors, their screens, and their telescopes are taking pictures. Uh, the CCD cameras are giving frame after frame after frame. Look at definition on that spiral arm. The resolution is incredible. We are definitely seeing new structures here. The core is much brighter than we anticipated. Yeah. They started comparing those frame to the frame and they see something moving. And they see an asteroid or maybe a comet or something that is moving in their frames. Look at frame 47. There's an object moving against the star field. I see it. It's definitely not a satellite. Run the orbital analysis. This could be significant. So they quickly did some orbital calculations and they found that to be pretty mysterious. So they sent back the data to the Minor Planetary Center in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Reroute the primary sensor array to this object. Adjusting the trajectory visualization now. The probability is low, but we should monitor it closely. And the NEO regularly gets this data from all these universities. This trajectory seems off. Did you account for the Yarkovsky effect here? Yes, the parameters are in the model, but the observational data is sparse. They usually plot these asteroids and comets and create an orbital diagrams to see where they came from, where they are going, are there any threat to the Earth. Zooming in on 99942 Apophis, the gravitational keyhole is approaching. Wait. I'm getting a deviation alert. We have a problem. They were calculating this data that came from these three observers from the Kitty Peak. And to their surprise, it's a very risky trajectory. That 2004 MN4 is on a collision course, a very big probability that it might impact Earth by 2029, April 13th. This is a press release from December 23rd, 2004 from the NASA website, the JPL website. They said we recently 400 meter near Earth asteroid and it, it is predicted to pass the Earth near the 13th April 2029 and the flyby distance is uncertain and Earth impact cannot be ruled out. This is the first time that NASA very specifically said there is a threat. And of course, since then, the threat level reduced to zero, but it was like particularly that particular time between the December 23rd through January 5th, like it's all over the news, like CNN, BBC, New York Times. This is in 2004. Everyone is covering, it's more press, like on newspapers than the TV, of course, but it is all over the internet, all over the media, everywhere. The research assistant who was calculating these orbital diagrams reported that to the, the director of NASA for the center of near Earth objects. They both alerted the news media and, of course, the authorities about this. We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news regarding the Apophis asteroid. Indeed, the proximity of the asteroid has scientists deeply concerned. By December 25th, worldwide, every newspaper, every television in 2004 started talking about these major impact asteroid. Torino scale measures the risk of an asteroid on a scale of 1 to 10 
10 being the worst so 10 meaning there is an imminent imminent danger that it is going to have an impact with, to the earth. four is almost to the middle of it and asteroid apophis did reach that scale during that initial time period so when you take a look at the initial scale like so 19 to 22 of december they were looking at it doing the basic measurements there wasn't any concern the moment they sent this data to the minor planetary center and when they started charting the course of this asteroid the scale went up quickly to one and by 27 28 of december 2004 it pushed up to the level three which is pretty high already and by 29 everybody is freaking out it's like you know the all the news broke out everybody is saying that definitely 2029 this will come and impact that's torino 4 was the maximum level it reached and then all the brains came in everyone started carefully looking at all this data and uh, they reduced the level down to back to zero by recalculating it it's not going to impact they kept monitoring it until 2020 and 21 to present it is still zero but uh, i would say there is still a concern uh, because it is now behind the sun and usually this this asteroid, the size of probably the Empire State Building, is going to have pieces of it. It's not one single block of it. So there is a possibility that it might have pieces put together over a period of million, millions of years, and it might outgas something, right? And it might change the trajectory or something, right? It doesn't need to stay in the same course in the space when it is moving at that speed. So if it does have any slight adjustments to it, all our calculations will go wrong. So there is still, we need to have a close watch on this asteroid. Apophis is maintaining trajectory towards the red zone, rerunning the simulation. The entry parameters are unstable. We need density confirmation. Get me the latest telemetry immediately. So let me show you where we stand. Today is uh, December 31st, 2025. And asteroid Apophis is on the other side of the sun. This is Apophis. Let me zoom in for you. This is sun and this is earth. Right now Apophis is moving this way and earth is going this way. So we should be able to see Apophis faintly, like as a small dot, like in 20 days. 2029, we can watch until that time. And then 2029, April 13th, it's going to come closer to us and then leave, right? So, but between the time period, it is actually circling. Let me show you how this orbit works, right? So I'll zoom in for you first, and also I'll make it pretty fast. So pay attention to Apophis, forget anything else. This one is making a circle. It is in between Mars and Jupiter. That's its orbit, right? It's not coming from somewhere else. It's right here in our, in our solar system. Once in a while, it is going to go closer to Earth, like in the, into the Earth's orbit, and other times it is going to stay behind or in front. Whenever it colludes into that orbit, whenever it converges into the Earth's orbit, that's when we get into trouble. And does that once in a while. And that's when we are noticing that this is getting quite dangerous because it is the it is the one that is uh, coming closer and closer to, I'm just highlighting it for you. And I can zoom in. It moves, the Earth is moving, Apophis is moving. Once in a while, these things stay away from each other, which is fine. So right now, 26, 27, the Earth is in front of it, Apophis is in the back, there isn't anything going on. But by 29, it is going to catch up to us. Let me make it a little faster. 
and I'll slow it down for you. Pay attention to this one. December 27, 25. At this moment, actually, upper face is closer to Earth, but it is going to just leave it, leave and move on. Keep watching this. Yeah, see that? It is going to stay away in the orbit and let Earth go away. And it passes the Earth's orbit and moves on. You see that the dance it is going to make, staying away from Earth and leaving. But when it comes back in 2029, it's staying pretty close to Earth. And yeah, so that's when I'm going back here, April 5th, 2029. It is right now, the distance is so small between Earth and upper face. You see that? Our James Webb is right here. Our, um, our moon is right here somewhere. Where is moon? Yeah, it's inside the moon's orbit, right? So it's not even as far as moon. So this is JWST and I'm going to slow down for you because today is April 11th at, from the time period. I'll just slow, go slowly. Yeah, moon is right here, you see that? So this one is, upper face is right here and it approaches slowly, comes to us. I'm going to make it slower. See that? You guys see it? It's coming closer and closer. This is up of us. This is now, this is moon's orbit. Okay, this is moon. Up of us is right here. It's inside the moon's orbit. It's inside our GPS. It's, in, it's like, something that is coming really close to us. And then I will slow down because today is April 13th. It, this is how much closer it is going to get and it is going to leave from us. From this point onwards, it goes further away. I do wanted to end with a positive note that we may be able to deflect these asteroids by 2029 if they do become an imminent threat, if they are small enough. So this is the picture of the 16 psych that is imaged by NASA using a very large telescope. And I will show you the backyard pictures. If you like this video, please consider subscribing, give me a thumbs up. I'll take pictures of asteroid Apophis starting January and maybe end of January. If it gets a little bit brighter and if the clear skies, it's going to be a tiny dot for a while. So we'll see how uh, you know we can keep track of that asteroid as it comes towards the Earth. Thank you.